Hey Wanderlusters, I'm Drive by Andy and this is my channel for Travelers and Travelers at Heart. We've got a little bit of a project today. Um, my big concern for this summer in this motorhome has been the heat. Um, coming back up to Michigan, it's going to be hot and humid. Um, and definitely if I was down south, which I'm not planning on doing, but down south would definitely be very hot. Um, but anyways, that's been the big, the big worry. Somewhere in this motorhome without an air conditioner in the heat. Um, it's not too bad right now. It's humid today. I'm already sweating. It's only 85 degrees in here. Typically, I've been able to keep the motorhome about 10 degrees hotter than just the outside temperatures, so it hasn't been getting too bad in here. But there's definitely a concern that on the really hot days, it'll get really bad in here. Not a big deal. I can go outside if I need to. Um, and I could bring the cats out in like a carrier or something, but I'm, I'm more worried about them in here. So today's project is going to be installing this bad boy. Vortex by Hangs. Uh, industry is just a Chinese product. It's supposed to be to take a from a smaller fan setup to this new big fan setup. It is only one speed. It's not reversible or anything. This is just a cheaper, a cheaper option for a little less than $50 on Amazon with Prime shipping. Um, sure, I could have got a Max Air or a Fantastic Vent or whatever, but with that you have to take the whole unit out of the roof vent or out of the hole. And this, I can just put this in to my vent already. Let me show you. I'm planning on putting it here in the bathroom. All I have to do supposedly is take this uh, screen out and put that in there and I'm also gonna have to do this. This is gonna be the weird part because this doesn't really work in here because the shower drops down a little bit and creates a little bit bigger gap than a lot of these are set up to do. Um, so that's gonna be the question. I'm gonna first start off by taking this off and uh, just kind of seeing if it'll even fit in there. Otherwise the next option would be this main vent here but the new vent or the new the, the fan is gonna block some light um, which is it's bad I really do like having that light in the shower but I think uh, I think having the fan in there is gonna work better for me too so we're gonna see how it goes hopefully it's gonna go in the shower and uh, maybe then I can crack like the front windows or those maybe those even the fender vents up there kind of get like a cross draft going through here if this fan um, I don't have to put any wires in here since this this did actually used to have one of those old small fan vents there should be a set of wires that I just tucked up over here in the corner so hopefully it's gonna go well just need to get those wires tucked out of there again hooked back up to this new thing and uh, I'm hoping it goes pretty easy I should just really need one one Phillips screwdriver so We'll take a look. I'm just doing this in a rest area. So, let's see how it goes. Actually, first let's take a look at what's in the box. Nothing too fancy. I didn't realize they were from Elkhart. But everything's made in China. It's pretty much China. Pretty much a China company. Just some directions. Some other stuff that I need. And then here's the main vent, just the one switch and the wires. So that's all that comes in the box. I think I'm probably going to need, they only gave me one wire nut in here. The other wire nut's in here already, but I need two wire nuts. No big deal. I've got wire nuts around here, but uh, definitely not really everything I need. So cool, let's uh, yep, those are all just Phillips head screwdrivers. Cool, let's uh, let's get the other one taken off. So I got the, uh, just a little bezel thingy off there. This was already broken, so not too afraid that I have to replace that. Cause it, like I hey, it was already broken. And here is the wiring, one of them. Here's the other one. So I got both my wires there, that should work great. 
I need to finish taking that off. Here's the problem with that vent though. That that vent that I put in there, the little bezel wasn't deep enough. So I kind of took the old bezel and uh, I don't know if it's a bezel. I'm gonna call it a bezel because that sounds nice and easy to say. Anyways, I put the new one from the last vent on top of and inside of the old one to kind of get that deep thing there. But it never really stayed up there. So I'm hoping I didn't cause too big of problems here and uh, I'll be able to get all that back together. Or if this uh, if this will even fit in there, this is good. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a problem maybe. So we'll see. I'm gonna see how this works. Next thing I gotta do, I can do it right here. Just take this stuff off. Actually, I can't do that with uh, one hand. One second. All right. So I got it in here. It uh, was difficult with one person trying to hold things over my head. Um, so I didn't get any film of that. I still have to put the little trim piece back in. It's not quite fitting, um, which I don't think it did last time either. The screws just aren't quite long enough to do everything, so I'm still working on that situation. Maybe I'll just put longer screws in there. I have to see if I have some here in the motorhome, but it's on. I got it all wired up, and uh, it's humming away. It really doesn't seem to be moving that much air, but I'm sure it'll help some. So, I'll keep you updated on that, I guess, but it would have been nice to just feel like an immediate flow of air through here, but that's this hasn't provided that quite, so. We'll see, it's starting to warm up here in the motorhome. We're up to almost 90 now, so it's getting a little hotter in here today. And I should be finding some shade soon. But I got my other two fans going here. And I am in direct sunlight right now, so I'm, I'm doing alright. But this is the big the big problem for the summer. And I'm hoping I can get a handle on it. Because that's it's silly, but that's one of the things that uh that makes me want to get a new RV. This the uh the heat here this went this summer kind of makes me want to get uh like a 20 foot class C with air conditioning and a generator and all that so I can be comfortable when I need to be but spending thousands and thousands of dollars that I don't have on a motorhome just for air conditioning doesn't really seem to make sense to me so this is the alternative I'm trying right now obviously there are other alternatives if I could figure out some way or somewhere to put just a little wall unit in here or Ever get one of those little portable generators I don't know there's a lot of different options but I don't know if I want to do any of them so I'm hoping that this this will do it you know that's all there is to it I'm hoping <laughs> this will this will help me out but so far not that hopeful but we'll continue we'll continue to see how this goes I just need to figure out how to get this bad boy back in there now all right here we are let's go check it out um, I did just end up putting longer screws in here. Self-tapping screws right into the uh, fiberglass around here. But otherwise it looks okay. If you don't look at it too closely. And uh, we got it working completely. The top goes up and down the way it should. I don't really like the wheel, but it's alright. Get used to it. So there we are, a new Vortex fan in the bathroom to hopefully make a little cooler in here. I got this, I didn't get this idea from Lewis of rolling our ship, but he put the idea back in my head. I kind of forgot that it was an idea I was having. Um, so that's cool. I'm glad I met up with him so I could think about that again instead of just like a whole new RV with air conditioning. But like I said, we'll see how it goes, see if it helps me out at all. It definitely hasn't knocked the temperature down in here at all yet. Um, had a little bit of hair on my glasses, sorry. But I'll continue to see how it goes, you know, you know. It didn't take too long, it took longer than I expected, but I've kind of been distracted here playing on my phone and, and the internet and stuff, just uh, in between doing little projects. Um, really, it probably would have been like a 15 minute job if I had, had really stuck to it and kept everything 
uh, or if everything was the way it's supposed to be with the little side project track side track type deals uh, not quite being perfect you know an extra five ten minutes so definitely under half an hour for this project but uh, it took me longer than that just because I haven't really been been too into it but there it is guys and we will uh, keep you updated on that I should have another update coming pretty soon about getting back on the road I'm actually on the road right now that's why I'm in this rest area but I wanted to make this video before I made the next video so stay tuned as always guys I'm drive by Andy and I hope I drive by you soon see you later